Um, I've had a lot of people contact me uh, wanting to know about him, and so I thought I'd just take this opportunity to take both him and a few of his colts today so you can see here in the barn. Uh, first off, I'll start by showing you his confirmation. Windjammer is a 32-year-old stallion, which I think to be 32 years old looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, he's got some real nice colts on the ground so far. Uh, two of his colts this year at celebration finished <coughs> second and third out of 18 head of horses, and both of them now have in reserve world championship titles. Um, I'll go into each each horse just a little bit more whenever we get to them. Uh, I, during Jammer's career, he was a five-time reserve world champion, always finishing behind Spec. All of you all remember Spec. Um, as usual, he's like most stallions, just a little bit on the pushy side, but one of the most arrogant horses I've ever been around in a really nice way. I'm going to let you see. He still moves real well. Always wore a very light shoe, but always had real good motion. And at the end of this tape, I'll uh, try to put on one of his classes so you'll actually get to see him. <laughs> so we'll start now. We'll go ahead and uh, show you the first one of his colts. Okay, this horse is uh, Windjammer's Reflection. He's a 12-year-old stallion by Windjammer SP. I showed him uh, 2001 at the celebration and finished second in flash shot speed with him, and then a fellow showed him in the men's class and got second there also. You can see he looks a whole lot like his daddy did when his daddy was younger. Um, you can see confirmation-wise, He's a really pretty, a really pretty made horse also, and we're going to ride him uh, for you next. But before we do that, I'd like to show you one thing. Oh. Let me make sure I get it in focus. It's not focusing. All of these, all of these horses, as you can see, require very little weight. They have a real light shoe. Um, None of his horses have ever required a great big heavy shoe in order to be able to do a real nice rocky true gait. So we'll, uh, we'll ride uh, JJ for you next. Okay, before he rides JJ for you, I just want everybody to get to see this horse is 100% sound. Nothing's ever been done to him in any way, shape, or form. I'll go ahead now and let uh, Josh ride him for you a few trips. This is the horse I was showing you just a minute ago. This is Windjammer's Reflection. We call him around the barn JJ. And I raised this horse, but sold him to Josh Withrow, who's riding him here in this tape. I sold him to him about a year ago. You can see this, this, this stallion has loads of form and style loads of speed to go along with it. Unfortunately, in the short aisle way that we have to ride in, you won't be able to see the speed that he's got. But as you can see, he's 100% nice, talented, sound horse. And like I mentioned to you earlier, this horse has won two reserve world championships and was not started showing until probably he was 10 years old. He was kind of one of those who just got pushed in the back room. Step back now just a minute, so. 
Okay, this is Winds of Crimson. This is my three-year-old by Windjammer and my Crimson Tide Mare. This filly's been sh only shown one time. We showed her in Alabama this year uh, and finished second out of 18 horses with her. She shows great promise, so I'm just going to do her, take her nice and easy and slow and uh, get her a chance to do it the right way. Uh, you can see she's a real pretty maid filly. Whoa. And we'll go ahead and get her saddled up and uh, ride her for you now. <clears throat> See, this filly's got a great big motor and shows a lot of promise. She just needs a whole lot of ride. Ready. ready. Okay, I'd like uh, now to introduce you to Winds of Change. This is a two-year-old filly that belongs to Patricia Clark in North Carolina. She's only had about 60 days worth of riding. Just got a cake shoe put on her the other day. Never had a shoe or anything on, so we'll... Uh, ride her and let you see. Like I say, she's in the very beginning stages. You can see the filly has no foot whatsoever, but has already shown promise of the fact that she's going to be able to use her legs. As you can see, she's a really pretty made filly also. Just like the rest of them. So we'll get her ready and ride her for you next.
like I was telling you, this filly is just now started under saddle. Uh, Patricia had been just settling her backs on things she'd ever done with her. So you can see she shows a lot of promise, a lot of real true natural rocking gait, as you can hear by the sound. And uh, I think she'll be a good one. Okay, here are a few of the still pictures taken of Windjammer whenever he was showing. This was taken at uh, Virginia State Rocking Horse Championships. This picture was taken in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, whenever he won the Kentucky Celebration. And this picture was taken in Asheville, North Carolina at uh, the uh, North Carolina State Rocking Horse Championships. And this picture was taken in Owensville, Kentucky, whenever I used to campaign a lot on the Kentucky circuit. This particular year, I showed him 21 times and won 19 first that one summer. And this is the three-year-old Winds of Crimson that I showed you. This is her uh, second place uh, lap made in Alabama. And last but not least, this is when Jammer in his younger days. This was taken back in 1985. So you can see that all of his colts all resemble him, although every one of these colts that you saw in this video are all by different mares. Uh, move 